It's really important you slow down around camps. These kids were over by the beach by themselves, playing, mum and dad were watching, but they really do blend in. So if you're near a camp, drop your speed. We're in the area called the High Banks, it's really soft. You definitely need four wheel drive to come down here at the moment. Keep in tracks, that's your safest bet. If ever you're confused about where to go, stay in the tracks. We're gonna put a uh, shrimp and a fish bite on to this single pump rig. This gives me a little bit more distance than using the double, so let's try. The benefit of using clip down rigs is not only does it give you extra distance. The original concept was of Nigel Forrest from Breakaway UK. He was uh, a long casting champion and he uh, realized that clipping the rigs down would give him the distance he needed when fishing in the North Sea. The other beauty of using clip down rigs is the bait accelerates at the same time as the sinker. So you don't get that snatch that you would get if you were just using a loose rig. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can get across that furthest bar See if there's any pompano there. This is a really good spot. Where we're fishing, and if you look down this way, right there, it cuts off and it opens up, but this other gut out here really opens and it sucks out big time right there huge suck out and then it closes up down here as well so the water's really deep close as well as in that second gut and nick's actually throwing probably over that second gut trying to get to the pompano so we'll see a really beautiful spot we're right there at that suck out so hopefully we'll have some luck and look at that right here. Whew. Even that second gut narrows right up. Just beautiful. If you look down here, see right there? That's a big suck out as well. Just beautiful structure. Put this in my surf master sand spike check the drag sometimes i get people come back and they've got a rod that's broken here 
What they've done is they've not set the drag. They've had a hit and this will cut into the rod. So always check your drag. Dion Hunter, who does a lot of shark fishing cages, a lot of sharks on our rigs. What he does is he makes sure the reel seat is inside that part there. Elise, you're over this one. Go on. You think you got one? Can you feel anything? Okay, it's just, I, I'm not sure. I think there's a hell of a current and I might need to go up tide more. It might be just washing out. Now this one, we're gonna put a little bit closer. When I'm long casting these mullet, I go through the head. If I'm using a short rod, I go through the tail. The, the uh, skull structure helps me uh, retains the bait during the cast. Not going to bang this one too far. There's a big suck out right in front of me. Sort of a blocked gut rather. That'll, uh, could be good. So I'm going to put a bait in there and see if that helps. Putting it pretty close. I'm not going to worry too much about distance. Whoop. Got to hook my bait down. When I'm hooking these down as well, we go to the loop so the bait can pull back there, but it won't come off. Just short cast. Right where I want it. <coughs> Again, don't forget. <coughs> Check the drag. Just wanted to show you what a difference a day makes. This was yesterday. Driving along the beach, black turns everywhere, waiting for the anchovy to come back in. But the actual first gut was full of mullet. You could have walked on them. And this was all the way to the National Seashore. This morning we go on, we had to hunt for them mullet. And it was not until late in the afternoon uh, down in the 30s at the block gut Brenda was pointing to that's where we finally found some mullet to use anyhow I'm just going to show you that this is footage from yesterday pretty cool all these black turns but I'll just let you see them they normally any birds you see on the beach they normally have been working close in that area so it's always an area worth watching Sort of come back to it later that day. You'll find they're, they're working the ladyfish and anchovy. Anyhow, you all have a great day. This is Nick away from Breakaway. We had an awesome time. Brenda, Alicia and I. Catch you later, mates.